Hi everyone and welcome back to our Ag Bag series. Today we're going to be talking about the parts of a corn and soybean plant and doing the worksheets that are included in your Ag Bag. But first I wanted to show you what my corn and soybean plants that we planted in our cups last week. I'm going to show you what mine look like. So this one is my corn plant and this one is my soybean plant. Okay, so I left these in my kitchen window so they could get some sunlight and I kept them watered. Um, so far, my corn plant has not emerged from the soil yet. So we're going to go ahead and set him aside. Um, but you can see here that my soybean plant has and it's beginning to develop. So in the first part of this video, we're going to talk about the stages of growth in a soybean plant. So parents, the first part's going to be geared to, more towards the upper elementary students. So if you want to skip over it, you can. Um, for If you just have younger children, feel free to do so. Otherwise, let's jump in and we're going to talk about the growth stages first, and then we'll get into the worksheets later on in the video. So soybeans and corn have different growth stages to help us identify how far along they are in their life cycles. Their growth stages have some differences, but for the most part they kind of share the same concept. So since my soybean plant is the one that has emerged from the soil, we're going to talk about the growth stages of a soybean plant and which stage this particular one is in. The soybean plant development is divided into two big stages. The first one is called the vegetative stage and then we have our reproductive stages and then those are broken down into smaller substages. So the vegetative stages are basically the stages of growth before the pods on the plant have started to form. So our plant here is still in the vegetative stage. We have no pods that are beginning to form yet. So we'll talk about the vegetative stages since that is the stage that our plant is currently in. So it's broken down into smaller stages. The first one is called the VE stage. So V stands for vegetative, E stands for emergence, which means the plant has begun um, to pop out of the ground. So our plant has already completed that stage. It's already popped out of the soil and um, leaves are beginning to form. So the next stage is called the VC stage, which is when the cotyledons form. So the cotyledons on this plant would be these leaves right here, the first ones to form out of the ground. So this plant is currently in the VC stage because the cotyledons have completely formed. After that, we go into the stages that are used to describe the amount of leaves that the plant has developed. It's very simple. We just call those the V1, the V2, the V3 stages, and so on. It just keeps going up until the vegetative stage is complete, and then we go into the reproductive stages when the pods have begun to form. So here, our leaves are beginning to form here, but they're not completely developed. They haven't completely unrolled yet, so we cannot say that it's in the V1 stage until those leaves are fully developed. So this plant is still in the VC stage. When we go into the reproductive stages, um, the pods will begin to form and we call those the R1, R2, R3 stages, and so on until the plant reaches full maturity. So that's basically the short rundown of the stages of development of a soybean plant and what our soybean plant here is in. Okay, so in this portion of the video, we're going to be working with the worksheets that are in your ag bags, and we're going to discuss the parts of a developed corn and soybean plant. So for this part, you'll just pull out those worksheets. The first one is this, parts of the soybean plant. We'll start with this one. And then the second one is your parts of a corn plant. So if you want to, you can do these real quick. You can pause the video and do these real quick and then come back and check your answers with me. Or you can work with me along the way and we'll do them together. If you do them ahead of time or with me even, go ahead and drop pictures of your worksheets below. You can color them and label them. I'd love to see your results. So I'm gonna turn my camera around so you can see my worksheet on the table here and we'll write in and we'll fill in everything together, okay? Okay, so here is our parts of a soybean plant worksheet. We're gonna start out, you can color this if you want to, and we're gonna start out together and we're going to label and find where the roots are, where the seed pod is, the stem, and the leaves, and we're gonna talk about their functions. So let's start with the root. Um, can you tell me, guess where the root is? Which part of the plant here is the root? So the root is down here at the bottom. 
and we're gonna label it right here. Root, okay? So the main function of the root is to help keep the plant held down in the ground. Um, the roots are below the soil. So this line right here represents our soil and the roots are down below there holding the plant in the ground. They also help bring up nutrients from the soil to the plant. Okay, so the next one here is the seed pod. Which one of these three parts here that the arrows are pointing to do you think the seed pod is? Okay, so this one right here is a seed pod. So we'll write seed pod. Okay, so all around here on the picture, you can see many different seed pods here. Okay, the seed pod just holds and protects the soybean seeds that are inside of it. So the next one is the stem. Which one do you think the stem is? This one or this one? Yep, it's this one. So we'll do stem. Okay, so this whole part right here is the stem. It extends out here and the stem helps hold the leaves on. So the leaves grow off of the stem and it also helps bring up nutrients um, from the soil, from the roots, and it helps bring up water so the leaves can do their job. So which one, so that leaves this one to be our leaf. And the soybean plant has many different leaves and they have many different functions, but the main function is to help bring in the sunlight so it can create food for the plant to grow. Okay, so here we have our parts of a corn plant. This one came with the word bank and you can cut out the words in the descriptions. If you want to, you can glue or tape them next to like on your page and you can draw the arrows like I did. I already drew my arrows and I'm just going to write um, write the descriptions next to them. So you can do that as well, whichever way you prefer. So I've laid mine out and we're going to start at the top of the list with roots. So which, um, sim it'll be similar to our soybean plant. Which one do you think the roots are? So the roots are down here at the bottom. So I'm going to label that roots. And the roots do the same function that they did in our soybean plant. They help anchor the plant to the ground. Um, they're below the soil and they bring up nutrients to our corn plant. So the next one on the list is the stalk. And the description for that is the long stem of a corn plant. Which one do you think the stalk is? So yep, this one's the stalk and goes all the way up. And the stalk does the same thing um, that our stem and our soybean plant does. It helps bring the water and minerals up to the plant. The next one on the list are the leaves. Which one do you think the leaves are? So I drew my arrow to this leaf right here, but all of these are the leaves on the plant. So we're gonna go ahead and label this one leaf. Okay, and the same thing as in our soybean plants, the leaves on the corn plant, they have many functions as well, but the main one is to bring in the sunlight and help create the food for the plant to grow. Okay, so on these last few, this is where we um, get a little different from our soybean plants. The next one is the husk. That's the leafy covering over the ear of corn. Which one do you think the husk is? So on this part, I labeled this one as my husk. So I'm going to draw that. So the husk um, kind of does something similar as our seed pods do for our soybean plants. It holds the ear of corn and helps protect it inside. Next one is the ear of corn, the, yaw, the, the long yellow part of the corn plant that contains rows of seed and is eaten by animals and humans. So on this picture, it doesn't really show the actual ear of corn, but the ear of corn is here inside of the husk. So I drew a dot and then a line. So I'm gonna write ear of corn here. And it's inside there. And that is the seed part of the plant. And the next one we have is the tassel and that's the pollen producing part of the plant. So we have two left. Do you think this one's the tassel or this one? Yep, it's this one here at the top. So we'll label this one tassel. Okay. 
Okay, the tassel holds the pollen and that will help the plant to reproduce. And the last one we have is the silk and that's the soft thread-like string of the ear of corn. So this one right here is the silk. So the pollen, what happens is the wind will blow, the pollen from up here falls onto the silks and each, each pot of corn on the ear here has a silk attached to it. The pollen will fall and fertilize the silk and that'll allow the corn inside um, to develop fully. So that's the parts of our corn plant. All right, guys, so that is the end of our video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope to see you again next week for our final video. We'll be doing, we'll be reading the My Family's Pig Farm book and doing the KWL chart along with that one. Um, as always, if you have any questions, feel free. I'll have my contact information listed above. You can also comment below with your questions. I'll be happy to answer those for you. And stay tuned for next week because I'll have a little surprise for you. So we'll see you guys later. Bye.